assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to another vlog 2022 is the year where we actually switch things up so this year is going to be more about having meaningful conversations doing some interesting collabs with other food bloggers and showing you areas and places in dubai which you've probably never heard of or have never been to and then of course trying food that is unique and different and delicious so I have a lot of different things planned for this year and what better way to start these fresh new videos than at Flav DXB, the place that we are today. So in 2020 and 2021, while many companies were actually laying off people, Chef Wali took up this challenge. He actually created jobs and he also disrupted the burger industry by introducing one of the most flavorful burgers that you're going to find in Dubai. And so in today's video, we are going to take a look inside. And then in the last segment of today's video, we are going to sit down and have a meaningful conversation with Chef Wali. I'm going to ask him a couple of questions about how he started this business, what were the challenges that he faced, and hopefully it will motivate some of you guys to go out there and be the next Chef Wali or the next Moss Khan guys like I mean what we do isn't that bad either uh, all right so without further ado let's start today's video it's going to be a lot of fun guys stay with me watch it till the end because if you come here and mention Moss Khan then there's going to be a special treat for you guys and what that treat is I'll let you know towards the end of this video so stay tuned and watch this one it's going to be a lot of fun let's get started Let me take you guys through the food trucks. So we have our freezer, we have our chiller. Freezer, we got mostly fries. The chiller, we've got uh, you know bread and other sauces. You know, this is our dishwash. You know, we've got our chicken wash, dry storage. We got two double fryers. You know, focuses on the chicken. That's why. And we've got one uh, griddle over there. So we cook our wagyu patties over there, and uh, all the buns are toasted on there. This is our other secondary chiller. Here we keep our sauces and prepared items underneath. All of the uh, prepared items on top, pickles, coleslaw, uh -huh. lettuce, cheese, all yeah. items are ready, prepared. You know, we keep our items here. You gotta keep it as fast as possible. Ah, uh, okay. Especially when it's uh, busy. You know, this is very important. This is a kitchen hood, you know. Okay. You gotta spend money on this when you're getting a food truck. Municipality won't let you uh, operate otherwise. This is our uh, secret spice flour, right? Oh. This is a secret, nobody knows. All right. And then uh, it's all battered. Alright guys, so now what they're preparing for us is called the secret burger and it's not on the menu. So when you come here, you actually have to tell them. Remember to ask for the secret burger. It has a secret sauce that is life changing. So these are the soft potato buns which go deliciously with the beef and they're going to prepare the beef next. So we're going to check that as well. 
and honestly i'm super excited to just start having all the food let's see how it turns out and now this is the secret sauce guys look at that <laughs> oh my god that looks delicious already guys oh there go the pickles all right so we have the lettuce all right we have some coleslaw the fries are almost ready and so is the chicken oh just hear that sizzle guys that sizzle is everything wow oh i love the smell that's already coming up from the beef fry it's the wagyu wow we check the temperature for all the chickens okay because we want to make sure it's perfectly cooked inside all right so we have a temperature range that we use so right now we're going to make sure that our plate chicken is cooked properly so okay. we have our thermometer here turn that on all right poke a hole in there make sure no it looks like looks like it's cold inside yeah so we're gonna throw it back in there all right so that it's perfectly cooked And that, guys, is the level of detail that you find when you come here at Flav. So these are, are the, the small chicken bites that we're going to use on the Flav fries. Okay. So we're going to cut these up and then uh, put them on top of the Flav fries. Let's see what's happening with the patty. That seems to be coming along really nicely, guys. Wow. Look at that guys, look at the sauce dripping. And you know what for me guys, it's always interesting to see the amount of work and detailing that goes into making something like a burger, something that may seem simple like a burger or just like some cheese fries but there's so much detail that goes into it. It's literally art guys and something that we should definitely appreciate. Chicken burger is ready too guys, almost ready. This is the Flav, the original the main chicken burger. This guy is the main character right here. And let's see how it tastes. Wow. Oh, remember that masala that they were sprinkling on it? So the one on top is smoked paprika, but then there are eight secret spices that Chef Wally doesn't want to tell us about and understandable, but all of those fused together to create this beauty right here. The cheese, the pickle, the coleslaw, all of it working together. Wow, guys. So guys, this is the secret burger. It's not on their menu. When you come here, you actually have to ask them. Wow. It's so windy today. That's a really, really good burger, guys. Wow. Just look at that, guys. Wow. Alrighty, guys. And the last item that we're having today. These are the flavor fries and these are their signature fries. So in this one, we have three different sauces, guys. We have the cheese sauce. We have some fresh ranch, sriracha, mayo in this one right here. Wow, I can taste those three sauces working together guys. That chicken with those three sauces and then obviously the fries. And then they've sprinkled some of that smoked paprika on top of this one as well and you can really taste it. 
all right guys that was an incredible incredible meal the burgers were so so delicious guys and they tasted different it's not like just having any other burger it was like a both of them were like really good burgers and then those fries the flavor fries those were really good as well uh we're going to have a chat with chef wali in just a bit because there's something else i want to show you before it gets dark and that is the whole vibe of this place so this is called dx bike and as i explained earlier basically you can see behind me that this is like a biking hub so you can rent bikes over here and then there's a biking track and people are just chilling having fun doing their exercise just doing their thing let's explore a little bit and then we come back for the final part of this video and that is to have a nice chat with chef wali All right guys so it turns out that this is just the place where you rent the bikes right there or just sit and relax and have some food but the actual track is like 10 kilometers long and it's a bit further from here let's see if we can go up there and see anything but there was a gentleman here who said that it's going to be difficult to have a look at the track from here so if i'm not mistaken i think all of that is the track You see this one all of that is the track so i think what we should do is head back and start having a little chat with chef wali all right guys welcome to the last segment of today's video and we have chef wali with us here when people were not taking up the challenge of doing anything during the pandemic chef wali actually created jobs and he took up the challenge and he disrupted the burger market as well by launching Flav DXB, which is right behind us. Thanks, Wali, for taking out your time to sit with us and have a little chat. Obviously, the first question that we have for you is, how long ago did you start this business? So, from the initial stage, around the beginning of uh, 2021, I finished my internship with Atlantis. So, I decided that you know what, I'm gonna open my own restaurant. To be able to make a living in this uh, industry is not easy. Mm -hmm. The chefs are very underpaid. So, you know, I I had the opportunity to open my own restaurant. So, you know, I said, you know, let's go with it because rent is pretty high in Dubai. So, I I got a location with a good rent. The next question we have and that is I think the most interesting one for me. What was it like to start a business in the middle of the pandemic and what were the challenges that you initially faced? I had COVID in the back of my mind the whole time. Yeah. I wanted to make everything, you know, proper kitchen setup, full hygiene, everything. But honestly, there was not a big problem with with COVID. Like everything was pretty smooth. Uh this is a free zone area, so everything was done for me. I just had to pay for it. That was pretty easy. Really, I didn't have that many problems setting up. The thing was I've never opened my own business, of course. So, I don't know where to start. I'm confused. Yeah. What's the next step? Uh, what are we what are, are we, do we have to do this? Do we not have to do this? There's no yeah. rule book. Yeah, absolutely. With the government, once they come here and then they'll tell you, "Oh, you're doing this wrong. You're doing this wrong. You're doing this wrong." Next time we're here, we got to fix it. For people who are not too familiar with what uh, Chef Ali is talking about, Dubai is very strict about operating procedures, especially when it comes to for any industry actually, but way strict for the food industry. So, it doesn't matter what size of shop you have or which area you're operating in. You have to follow the right procedures and the policies and if you don't do that you can get heavily fined uh, and your store can also be closed what are the broad level requirements to start a business what is needed for someone who's watching and wants to maybe invest or start something like this yeah. depends on the developer you're working with so we're working with Maidan here in this particular area it's actually revenue share as rent so it makes it easier on small businesses so you know if you're not making that much money yeah you still only have to pay a portion of that okay. it's not like there's a fixed rent oh i need to cover this within the year i'm going to fail my business okay. you know they help. it's very lenient it's very nice it promotes a lot of small businesses the burgers are amazing and then the fries are also amazing the menu right now is limited though to a couple of items are you planning to build on that or yes. 
will Flav DX be only specialized in these things even five years down the lane? So with the burgers, I really wanted to focus. You know, I wanted one chicken burger, one beef burger. That's it. Since this is an open area setup, when summer hits in Dubai and summers are not kind over here, what do outdoor food trucks do to sort of uh, mitigate the, the loss at that time? Delivery was most likely the only way we will be making a lot of revenue. Right. And of course, pickup is also available so people can come pick up. Taking that step, the first step to start your own business is something that so many of us think about but yeah. you know find it difficult to do so we wish you all the best thank me you, and everyone watching we wish you all the best guys if you're in dubai take some time out come over here support chef wali and uh, try the food it's really really good thanks for your time chef and thank, thank you guys for your time as well i'll see you next time in another video till then take very good care of yourself stay safe take care bye bye allah hafiz By the way guys, if you come here then you can show them this video or you mention Moss Khan and if you order a minimum of two burgers, you'll get a complimentary plate of fries with your meal. How awesome is that guys?